Look. What? K Care. Ah, oh, I better save. Karen seems to be unconscious. Take her back to Slisha Village. Do I even want to know what this is about? Yeah. What's... what's going on? Hello. Oh, Little Dove, is that really you? Yeah, we haven't seen you since you ran off from the box. Wait a second. I recognize this place. This is the Shalisha Village Inn. Hold on. Am I back to normal? Wait, what? But how did I get back to normal? Thought the curse overtook my mind completely. Little Dove, where did you find me? Wait, she's not insane anymore? Boo! I see, so you found me knocked out at Alamisa. Yes, actually, I do remember going there. Everything that happened after I arrived is a blur. I visited Alamisa because I got a note from someone saying that they wanted to meet with me. Me being in an altered state, I made a reckless decision and actually accepted the offer. I remember a flash of green lights and then, now I'm here, back to normal. Well, it's nice of you to still call me Little Dove. Hmm? What's this in my pocket? Oh, it's a note. Lovely. Dear Karen, I have taken something precious from you. If you want it back, meet me at the castle Zigara immediately. Took something precious from me? What could they me- I see. Well, that's unfortunate. No matter. I'll just have to get it back. Little Dove, have you ever been to the Zorarian Crypt? The Zorarian Labyrinth City? It's the cave that is along the coast. Anyway, on the final floor, there's a door that's blocked off. The door won't open under normal circumstances, but if you say this incantation, troll in one acne if it will. Just try doing it yourself sometimes. Till then, thanks for bringing me here. Okay, so I'm on the fifth floor of the... Zorlian Cavern? I forget the name of this place. Ooh, ominous. Okay, what's this? This will take you back to the surface. What the hell? This is where I belong. What's this? Mellow. Selfish humans. All you humans ever care about is power. Power! You will not leave from this place alive. Okay. I just wanted to find Karen. But whatever. So what's next? Stantler. My cargo. Yo, your crust. Are all the Pokemon crust actually? Leafeon? Probably. Yep, they're all crust. And finally, it is done. Long have I been trapped beneath my own layer of self-hatred. The selfishness of humanity caused me to perform unforgivable deeds, and because of that selfishness I was cursed. I have waited for the day one fated soul would free me from this curse, and it seems like that day has finally arrived. Please, take the object place on the altar. It is my final gift. Farewell and thank you. Papa Gregor's Crest. I swore I already have that, but... Oh well. Sadie Incagnation Karen taught you? One Sadie Incagnation. Castle Zygara. So, you were able to do it after all. That does make things interesting. Welcome to Castle Zygara, the lost castle of King Izio. Ruined maniacs have been trying to locate this place for centuries, but they couldn't find any trace of it. It's almost laughable how incompetent people are sometimes, but for every genius, there's an idiot. Besides, even if they found this place, they wouldn't know how to enter it. How about you and I take a little stroll to this place? There's something I'd like to show you up ahead. So I've decided I'm going to tell you the truth. Dancing around lies about the purpose surrounding this place tires me. I asked you to open the door here because I suspected you of being the one who attacked me. Only someone who knows of that groove and incantation would ignore the existence of this place. That face of wonder and awe told me everything. This is your first visit to Castle Zygar, correct? If so, then I do not suspect you anymore. 
As for the actual culprit, they took two very important things from me. One being my Mega Ring, the other being the first Pokemon I ever caught. Am I finally gonna get that Mega Ring you stole all that time ago? So believe me when I say I'm very irritated right now. I would like to take back what's mine. So let's team up for a little while, what do you say? Thank you, little dove. I promise this won't be a waste. Ooh, we get to travel around with Karen. If you fall off the side, you won't survive, so be careful. Okay. Ah, Team Anti fucking assist every single time! Oh, would you look at that? I don't remember inviting you here. I'm assuming you're the one who wrote me this note. Sorry, that wasn't me. That was our client. So someone hired you. A henchman, I presume? That's right! We're Team AA! Team Anti assist! Let me get this straight. You're called Team Anti assist, but you're assisting someone by acting as their henchman. Thank you for pointing that out. That's correct! I assume you're aware of the contradiction here. Not at all! Ah, excellent. Well, if you're going to be trouble for us, then I guess we'll just be trouble for you too. Oh, we finally get to see some of Karen's Pokémon. Garbink, how are we higher level than... Uh, I don't know. Nor care anymore. Crap! You two are too strong! Our client said you would be, though. You gotta run! Remember those idiots I mentioned before, for every genius? Not sure, but I think we found them. Oh, are you calling me a genius? Thank you. This bookcase seems suspicious. Push the bookcase. Wow, I'm impressed, Vaughn. I wasn't even going to tell you about this little secret. You have an eye for secrets, huh? It's down here, then. Ooh, a hidden library. EBO lights. That's... Would have been useful long ago, but whatever. Cladal Crest, okay. That Cladal Crest has been here for centuries. I don't own a Cladal, so I never had any use for it, but maybe you will. Considering how these things are made, it'd be nice if you were the one who took care of those lost souls. We're on a second level now. Being up here also makes me sad. This castle used to be far larger upon once upon a time. But the cool mistress of time has been kind to this humble castle. I believe about 80% of the castles already fell into the depths below. Ooh, another crest. Torterra crest. A long time ago, an old friend of mine asked me to find a Torterra crest for his own Torterra. I never did bring him one, though. We grew distant. If you have a Torterra, I would... I sure they would feel invigorated to wear this crest. Ooh, another crest. Darmanitan crest, okay. Darmanitan are quite common in the desert. I knew someone who loved Darmanitan. I think she works at East Garen City now. I believe at the Magnolia Library? Oh well. Are you talking about Zumi? This is the end of the road. Nothing this castle's left. Just this giant tower. King Izio performed his rituals up here. The blood is spit in front of you. Upon being sacrificed, her bodies would be thrown down the pit and the ceremony would be complete. The tear that's placed into the crest would rise and present itself. It's also... The same place where I failed to create a crest. Because I was inexperienced, rash, and stupid, I lost a part of me that I can never get back. You know, I thought for a while that you were trying to set me up, Juan. But on a further investigation, I come to the conclusion that there is only one person who could have done this. Someone who knew about the existence of this castle. Someone who is also of group and descent. Like you, Karina. Damn. Yeah, someone like me. How'd you find out about this place? I've done some digging! The important... The informant in Celestia is quite knowledgeable. They got some of their intel wrong, but overall it was enough for me to put two and two together. I see. And what about Team AA? You know, for an organization to be so bent, hell-bent on not helping, they sure were eagle to. After I paid them, of course. You took something from me. You took something from me, too. Something I can't get back. You know I didn't mean to do that. I wasn't in the mi right frame of mind. I don't care what you were. You're responsible for everything you've done to me and my parents. I don't know what you'd expect me to do. I've apologized to you before, but you won't move on. The only one responsible for that is you. It doesn't matter anymore. I came here to seal the deal. I don't think I haven't caught on to your little scheme. You never suspected one. You knew it was me from the beginning. You just brought them here in hopes I would back down. <laughs> was it that obvious then? I'm sorry, Juan. It's true. 
Just stop fooling yourself already. You're not sorry. You never were. You continue to pull others into your scheme so that you can get what you want. Well, no more. I'm going to put an end to this selfish woman. Oh, really? There's someone who really hates me. You seem to have forgotten who I am. I am Karen of the Elite Eight. I'm not going to lay my life down to you. Yet yeah, I'm higher level than you. What? Go on. Make the first move, then. I'll at least allow you that handicap. A little too slow. If you want to hit your opponent, maybe stop being so telegraphic with your movement. Here, I'll give you another shot. Come on. Don't look down on me! You're so learner, unfortunate. I don't want to fight you. Just give me what I want and we'll both walk away happy as can be. I won't be happy. I'll never be happy. It's all your fault! I said my piece already. If you don't... Cutting me off mid-sentence. Rude, but it's effective. Shut up! You're the one talking, my dear. Maybe you should just... I will say, that was an excellent move. Too bad it didn't accomplish anything. I'm starting to get irritated. Give me back my Diancie and my Mega Ring. Oh dear god. You're a rock type expert. I thought you were ground. I'm not backing down. Very well then. I don't need to harm you to win. Damn, your fighting is rumbling the entire castle. Oh, they actually opened up something. Oh, a Larvesta! Anyway, what was I doing? Oh yes, trying to stop those two from killing each other. That's enough! Why won't you fight back? Just fight back already! Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I've hurt you enough already. I don't need you to patronize me. What I need is for you to finally face me. Uh, some people just can't let go of the past. I won. Lovely to see you again. I'm just here dealing with this girl. This isn't a one-sided argument. You're a part of this. I apologized. I tried to do the right thing, but you won't let it go. You killed my parents in front of me. Well, sounds bad when you say it like that. But again, I wasn't me. Not to say I'm not responsible, but really. You've gone through this much work just to kill someone else. How does that make you any better than me? It's about retribution. My parents need to be avenged. You tried to avenge them with revenge. I'm sure being a killer is exactly what your parents would have wanted. You may not be able to swiftly dodge my attacks now, but that sanity of yours won't hold up for long. That spell I used to cure you was only temporary. I wonder how well you'll dodge attacks then. I have a friend here to help me, remember? What? One? You're throwing one under the bus again? After all this time, you're still gonna use them? I'm not using one. They could have left at any point. I told them what their point was here from the moment we walked in. They probably just... They're probably just in it because they'll get a reward. I respect it, but if you're going to get in the way, then I'll be a nuisance too. Shut up! Damn. Let's see, let's start off with Bug Buzz. Ow. Bug Buzz again. There we go. Durant. Mm, flamethrower. Ow! Again, can I please just get something? Dynamax, Z-Move, Mega Evolution, something? Because, like, we're level 85. I, I think we're long past the point of, hey, I should at least have a fair match, right? Eh. <sighs> Also, why am I dark type? What? I have the fighting type memory on me. <laughs> Keep wasting your time, bro. The longer you waste your time on this Durant, the more opportunity I have to win. That was a smart move. That was a smart move. Really smart move. Too bad you're dead. Uh, go to Ruby. Finally, damn, that was annoying. Hero. It was crusted as well. 
Bramble. You know, I knew Gramble had Intimidate, but I still went to Rapunzel, just because I could. And Alakazam up last. So all I have to do is Bug Buzz, and I'm- yep, that win. We win. I don't even know what to say! I... lost. I trained so hard just for this moment. Just to lose to Juan! Can't believe you actually kept both of the things you took from me on you. I'll just take those. Alright, I got what I wanted, so I'm going to take my leave. Wait! You don't even care! You walk around as if you're not guilty! You said you gave me an apology, but you never considered how I might feel. I saw the people I loved die in front of me by your hands. Do you know what that feels like? I... You don't, because you've never been in a position of suffering. You don't even begin to understand what I've been through, what I've seen. You know why I don't treat you like an adult? Because you act like a child. I've done so many things to try and help this world. But you know where that got me? Right fucking here. Talking to some child that won't move on. I understand now. What? You know exactly how I'm feeling. You've been in this situation before. You've seen your parents die in front of you. You swore that you would get revenge on the ones who did it. I have to move on so that I can become happy. But that's not the reason you want me to move on. You want me to move on because if I don't, I'll keep reminding you of your mistake. You don't know jack shit about... You did something you never wished upon anyone. The horror of losing a loved one while being totally helpless. That's what started this all, right? Your attempt at making a crest that ended up in failure? You wanted to get stronger so that this would never happen again. Little did you know that very sense of revenge is what led you to the very same crime you suffered from. Stop. You hypocrite! You can't even move on yourself! Yet you have the gall to tell me to do so? You're pathetic. Weak until the end. Just what I thought. Fuck! What do I choose here? And there's no timer either, so I can't just not do anything. We'll see both endings. Little Dove. But why? I had her and you interrupted me! Why are you protecting her? Fuck this, I give up. Huh? I won't be a murderous hag like you. I'm going to be better. From this moment on, I'm through with you. This is my victory and your defeat. I've avenged my parents. But just know that one day, I'm going to defeat you myself. I won't kill you, but I will make you feel humiliation. Killing you would just set you free from your problems. The greatest pleasure of it is having to live with them, and I won't live with your blood on my hands, so I'm gone. I see. I guess she's not a child after all. The only child here was me. Do you remember when you found me unconscious in Alamisa? You should go back. I think you'll notice that a certain gated door has been opened. I'd like some time by myself before the other Karen surfaces. But I want to thank you for intervening. I fully accepted my death at the time. And now that I'm alive, I don't want to die just yet. I've lost my way. I have to remember why I want to get stronger. Celine. I'm sorry I've been such a failure. I won't let this be my legacy. I'll see you again soon, Juan. Okay, now choice two. If you think this makes you strong, you're wrong. Though so we got a black eye, that means we did something bad. In fact, it makes you just like me. Weak. L little dove. I'm... Sorry. Thanks for being there for me. No, it makes me strong because I could do what you couldn't. <laughs> I've done it! My purpose, everything I trade so hard for, it's complete! Mother, father, I've done this for you. Rest in peace. Juan, you could have stopped me, but you didn't. 
Thank you for letting me solve this on my own. I needed it. There's one last thing I have to do. Feel like it's only fitting that we send her off the same way she would have wanted. Karen, goodbye. And that's that. What? What are you doing? Wait! Ah! I just... I just... <laughs> so you can actually kill both Karina and Karen. And I didn't get a black eye for it either. Wait, wait, so what does this change? What does this change? This time we won't push Karen. We should leave. I'm heading back to Garen and... Uh, who knows what else. I feel relieved that I've accomplished what I've always wanted. I'll make sure people like Karen get the justice they deserve. Here, please take this. Bayonet I. That's the other megastone I found in the hidden library. I don't need it, so why don't you take it? See you again, Juan. Thanks again. So I believe it was this room that Karen unlocked. Yep. A life orb! Yes! It's entitled Karen's Dictionary. Day X, Year X, Month X. Selene's been out again. She's gone more and more often now. After that fight she had on the mountain, she has been doing well. The determination on her face is objectively strong. My parents have been acting weird around me lately. As if they have to tell me something but are reluctant. Alexandra, Damien, Eve, and Adam have all been out training a lot lately too. Hmm. The only new name there is Eve. They're my best friends, but they won't tell me why they're training. Something is similar amongst all of them though. Selene has talked to each one of them individually at some points. What is Selene planning? No date logged. Selene finally spoke to me today. I finally understand everything. I can't write down why or what she wants. But all I have to say is that I now must train as well. If I don't, everything may fall to pieces and I can't allow that. It's been a year since my last logged entry. I write in complete silence. Alamisa has been destroyed. My training was for naught. We've all gone our separate ways. Adam, Ryland, Alexandra, Damien. I couldn't accept how weak I was. How weak my Pokemon were. That's why I did the Forbidden and went to Castle Zygara. I attempted to make my own crest, but I was an amateur and failed. As a result, I can feel my mind warping, shifting, cutting, separating. I write this so that I don't forget. I can't forget. Even though she's gone, we have to keep going. Otherwise, this world will be lost forever. Huh. So let me get this straight. If you spare Karen, you get a life orb and you get some extra backstory on Celine and Eve. As well, I guess I'll, I guess the entire Desert Crew as well. But if you spare Care uh, Karina, you get the other Mega Stones, so the Heracronite or the Bayonetite. And if you kill both of them, you get nothing. Damn. The fact that you could just there's a timeline where you can kill both of them. And then spare both of them? I, I'm I'm making a backup of that save. The save right before the decision. I'm making a backup of that save. And seeing if in future versions, that will actually change how the story plays out. Because don't forget, Karen is part of Elite 8. So if she's dead, someone has to take her place. So, I'm, I, I'm actually interested in how that will play out. If this game ever gets completed, I, I'm going to keep that save like backed up somewhere on my drive so that way I can see how the story would change with one of their deaths or both of their deaths because that was interesting I love it when games do splits like this oh also uh, one last note uh, if you do decide to kill Karina after you kill Karen you can still get the other mega stone apparently it'll be like two floors after you two floors below after you kill Karina so, it's either the choice of a life orb, or the other megastone that you didn't pick earlier. Which, of the both of them, let's be honest, the life orb is probably the better option. <laughs> I mean, think about it. We now have access to life orb Blaziken. Like, I've won this game. <laughs> okay, so right now we're in the central building of Grand Dream City, right? 
So I actually wanted to show this off. So we already got the events Riolu from Where Love Lies. We already got that, but there was something interesting on here. Classified information. If self request was submitted specifically for a trainer named Juan, confirming identity of the client reading, identity accepted as Juan, playing audio recording momentarily. Hello Juan, I'd like to have my meeting an I would like to leave my identity anonymous until we meet in person, if we meet in person. I say if because it's up to you whether or not you'll accept this invitation. Let's just get to the central issue. We're investigating beings called Dimensional Rifts. Team Zen has brought about their existence and we'd like to know more about them. We've heard of your involvement in fighting Team Zen and the Rifts. We'd just like to invite you to a discussion. You give us information, we'll provide you with some as well. Of course, there will be an actual reward for this as well. Be waiting on the 36th floor of the central building. Okay then, I wonder what this is about. Take me up there, bro. Wonder what we're getting into here. Oh no. Ah, so you accepted our request then. Okay. Boss, things have turned out exactly how you thought they would. Annabelle and Looker. You are the last... I thought this game took place like 50 years after the main story. <laughs> I didn't know they would actually be in this game. So it seems they have. Excellent. Please excuse this standoffish introduction. My name is Annabelle and this is Looker. Where's Bluebell? Hello. Glad we're acquainted. We're all acquainted then. Let's start on why you're here. As for the recording you heard downstairs, we know about your efforts against Team Zen and specifically the Dimensional Rifts. And before that, I'd like to stress that anything and everything discussed here is considered con classified information. Yada yada, I won't tell anyone about your fucking. The information in these notes is more than we could have hoped for. Magnifique! Juan, you truly are a lifesaver. Now that you've given us that information, it would only be right that we did the same. Mention of rifts. Just what are they? Why do they produce rift matter? Why do living beings have such an aversion to it? Why does it change our form? Side note, in the estimated time of 45 seconds, the living being transforms. We're here in Avium to research just why this is and why dimensional risks have only been found in this region. Crawley, another member of the International Police has given us intel on a certain Zen executive, Zeta. Apparently he was the one who was able to create these rifts. But he's been terminated and thus the ability to research rifts has gone with him. That's where you come in, Juan. You need to tell us everything you know about Zeta. Please excuse the overly dramatic interrogation setup. We'd just like you to answer a few questions regarding Zeta, that's all. Please give us any information you think is important. Boss, this is true. Then we've just made an important breakthrough. We should bring them in for a bit of questioning as well. This time, let's make a bit less formal about it. What the hell? They brought Melia in as well? Miss Melia, please excuse us for dragging you in here like this, but we'd like to ask you a few questions about Team Zen. Um, I'm not in trouble or anything, right? But of course not. We just want you to make sure things line up correctly. Uh, understood. Um, okay then, what do you need to know? It's come to our attention that Zeta is supposed to be a clone of yourself. Were you aware of this? It was mentioned to me when Zeta returned to being a Solosis, yes. And it is noted that Zeta was the only one who created Dimensional Rifts. Do you know what this could imply? You're implying that I could create them. However, we're curious if you know anything about the process of doing so. I'm sorry, I didn't learn anything about this till Zeta had passed. I don't know a thing about creating Dimensional Rifts. I see. And we've hit a wall here. We'll conclude our investigation for now. I didn't think they would just drag in Melia like that. An interaction you'd never expect. That was a bit terrifying. I've never been interrogated by people like that before. It was pretty uncomfortable, even if they tried their best to be nice to us. <laughs> even if you're lying, thanks for saying that. Makes me feel a little less like a wuss. <laughs> Apologies for the wait. We had a call for our higher-ups. I'm sorry to have wasted your time, but it seems we cannot proceed from here. Uh-huh. You two don't have the information we need. Without that info, we're stuck. That's all there is, really. Thank you for your time, Juan. Your reward will be delivered to you in the next few days. 
That was a bit sudden. Annabelle really seems sad there. Be really bad laying her off like this. I'm going to go see if there's something we can do. Anything else you can do? Sorry, it just didn't feel right to leave the both of you like that. I know Juan and I don't have much to offer in terms of info, but there's got to be something we can do. What made you want to investigate dimensional rifts in the first place? Is it purely because they're dangerous? Hmm. You two. Do either of you know what ultra wormholes are? Yeah, yeah. Invented by the Aether Foundation of Alola. They started causing It basically advanced with Pokemon Sun and Moon. We, like we all know this. Anyway, I bring up the ultra wormholes because they act very similar to dimensional rifts. Portals to other worlds, where beings different from ours roam. Monsters that spawn from them are even more terrifying than Ultra Beasts. Even with Zeta gone, Rift Pokemon can still come into existence with the presence of Rift Matter. They are created in bulk numbers. I'm not so sure it will be possible to defeat all of them. Alas, we must look elsewhere and find more info about their origin. If only I could talk to Zeta right now. Hmm, in my dreams, perhaps. I'm going to stick around and help in any other ways I can. Please contact me whenever you need. So I'm guessing we have to give her the Nightmare Medallion. Hmm, you're giving me this medallion? Keep this with me while I sleep. Um... I'm supposed... I suppose I could do that? It's it as important as you say it is for the investigation, then... Sure, I'll keep it on me tonight. To sleep we go! Let's see if Annabelle's anywhere. Here we go. Goodness! Juan, oh, you've scared me! Where am I? I remember laying down for the night and then... I'm in a place called Nightmare City? In the place where the supposed puppet master is? You're saying through this world I'll be able to speak to the dream incarnation of Zeta? That's the place. Please take me there. When you've seen the things Looker and I have seen... Well, let's just say I'm not too phased by this. Let's be on our way. So this is the place, then. The toy box in the real world is said to just be an empty building, but... Hold on. Aren't these gym guide panels? Are you calling Zeta with this? Ugh. Who brought me back to life? I was having a good nap. Wait, I thought my job here was done. Yes! Yes, this is Zeta himself! This is wonderful! Uh, hello? Juan, did you set me up on a blind date? One would find this scenario weird, but that's not what matters right now. I would like to ask you a few questions. I can't exactly leave, so why not? Ask away. I'm not the only one able to create dimensional rips. Uh, man, that's a bit personal. I'd get into way more trouble at Zen HQ if I blab about all that. But you aren't a part of Team Zen anymore, technically. I mean, I guess you're right. To tell you the truth, I'm not really sure myself. Not even you know why? As soon as I was created, I was promptly put into training. First, I, was, well, I wasn't able to do anything. They thought of destroying me because I was useless. But then Anastasia came up with this advice that I put on my hand. You mean that red gauntlet on your hand? Yeah, there's nothing in the gauntlet, though. It feels and looks like any other uh, glove. I don't know why this enabled me to create rifts. That's an unfortunate answer. By chance, do you know what rift matter is? Where the hell did you hear about rift matter? You do know what it is, then. Supportedly, according to Anastasia, I was created by combining Melee's DNA and Rift Matter. Then, it was injected into my Solosis form, and then, I became the person under three days. Your living Rift Matter? Well, the real Zeta was, at points. It could be possible that you could create Rift Matter yourself, but you needed the help of that gauntlet. That makes sense to me, I guess. Interesting. This answers a lot of questions. If that's how it goes, then if anyone had Rift Matter, they'd be able to create Rift Pokemon? Yeah, that's very much all it takes. Thank you so much for your time, Zeta. Because of this, we can further our research. There's actually something I should tell you both. Yes, what is it? I'm not the real Zeta, so I don't know absolutely everything he did. Even anything I've told you up to this point is a miracle, but... Hold on, I wasn't finished. Or in my production, someone stole a hefty amount of rift matter from our old base. Someone stole rift matter? 
Yes, at first we thought it was a girl named Crescent, and that proved to be false. It was a woman, but it became clear that this person lived somewhere in Grand Dream City. It's talking about Flora, because I'm pretty sure, uh, what are the names Team Blade Star have a Rift Pokemon. There could be a Rift Pokemon walking around without Team Zen's awareness. I'm just saying that you two should be really careful. That's very important information you just shared, Zeta. This may sound odd, but I have one more request. What is it? Would it be possible for you to generate some rift matter for me? Oh, do you even need that gunk for? Whatever, fine. I'll do it. Just don't do anything stupid with it. Thank you. I'm starting to feel a little woozy. Hi. <coughs> Looks like someone tried to wake her up. Anyway, she got what she wanted, and I helped you two a little, didn't I? I no, it sounds weird coming from a person who technically doesn't exist. But I felt just a little... happy? Happier than I've had felt here before. That side, I can sort of feel myself fading a bit too. Looks like the puzzle master wants to put me to sleep again. That's fine with me, I guess. Good luck out there, Juan. Please defeat Team Zen. You guys okay? Damn. Ah, oh, Juan, thank you for returning. Rift Matter came back to me, came with me to the real world, so everything that happened was real. Well, it was a dream, but somehow the realms of reality and dream have crossed. I still don't know how to take that Nightmare City world, Chief. But you were able to get your hands on some Rift Matter, so. It's a wonderful specimen, too. As I said, we took the Rift Matter and put it into one of our device tracking things. They said that there could be some Rift Matter out in the open after someone stole it from Team Zen. Because of that, we're considering the possibility of Rift Pokemon running around. For now, let's check the Terial region and West Garen City. Looks like there's about two places that could show up on our radar. One looks to be in Neverwinter, though this one looks like it's moving. What about the last one? The last one... Looks pretty concerning, actually. The readings we're getting from this one is huge. It's sending off a huge signal. Where is it located? It looks like it's coming from Darchlight Woods. Darchlight Woods? Did not want just visit those woods recently? They have, and I think they would have mentioned something if they saw a rift down there. If you take a look at the elevation on the map, it looks like the signal's underground. Underground? Are you referring to Darchlight Caves? Yes, the caves! It must be where the signal's coming from. Let me correct then. I think I'll head over immediately. Chief, is that such a good idea? I know we've been put through a lot, but... As a follower, you should know how dangerous it is going off to unknown places. You may be a powerful trainer, but this thing is giving off code Evo or code Stacia's levels of dangerous. Things get roughed. I think we'll be able to handle it together. I... I don't know about this. But this is what she wants to do. Okay then, let's go. Enough with the love drama between you two. Go on, just speak to me whenever you're ready to go. Okay then. I have no idea what kind of rift it could be, but... Well, here we are. What's the radar saying about the reading? Looks like it's below us. Far below us. I wouldn't be surprised if it's at the bottom of this cave. Then we shall head down to the cave. Chief. Let's make sure we don't push ourselves. Well, I finally found these guys. The signal's behind this gate. Hmm, this gate looks strange. I think we can just break it down. Looker, could you give me a lift? I'll continue things from here. Should be able to reach if I'm just elevated a bit more. Chief, are you sure about this? You'll be in there all alone. There's no need to worry, Looker. I have my Pokemon with me. Besides, you should be able to give one a lift as well, yes? I'm just worried about your well-being. Especially with what happened before. Yeah, yeah, she collapsed. She collapsed from over exhaustion. Okay, let's do this. Please look after the chief for me. I will. That is very expected. Unexpected. There's a whole hall down here. I can barely see the bottom of this pit. At least I think that's the bottom. Let's go, Juan. The radar is pointing directly north of here. We should just find what we're looking for, whatever that is, and leave this place. The signal's coming from behind this door. Whatever it is we're looking for is right in front of us. During the color choices in the banners, this must be a Blade Star ran operation. The International Police isn't interested in the affairs of Blade Star if they're messing with Rift Matter. Let's try our hand at opening this door. Yeah, it deal shut. That's for sure. 
Not that I expected it to open it myself anyway. We're going to have to find another way to open this door. There's gotta be something down here we can use. This is weird. A laptop was left behind. The laptop itself isn't the weird part though. The thing is only wiped. It's a bit of awkward timing on our part. There's nothing in here besides this laptop and the conveyor belt. It seems to still be functioning and also happens to lead into the room with the locked door. Get me out, Ron. You should ride the conveyor belt into the next room. I promise Luca we'd be careful, but I fear nothing will get done at this rate. Yeah, you're too much of a chicken. There's something in that room. I don't know what it is. I've changed my mind. I think it would be unwise of us to go in there without Looker. We've hit another wall. Let's head back. Sorry, Looker. We couldn't do much in there. What happened? There just wasn't anything we could really do. We found the source of the signal, but it was locked behind this huge metal door. We didn't find any way to open it at all. So we decided it'd be best to head back. That was chief. We still made incredible progress. We'll see what we can do about this predicament overnight. We know what to do. Just push the rocks onto the conveyor belt. Sounds someone who could actually help us. Who's gonna help us now? Oh, Eric. Hey, Melia. Eh, Juan, how's it going? Oh, so you already know each other. That makes things easy. Eric told me he has some proficiency in hacking when we were hanging out with him a long time ago. I'll be sure to do my best. I've learned from my best friend Saki, after all. The door Annabelle was telling me about. So easy! I'm practically a miracle worker. I'll take your word for it, then. Yada yada, let's go. So how are things going? Will you be able to do it? It's not looking good. Looks like everything was completely wiped. But if I recreate the system that was used, I could probably get the door to open that way. How long would that take? If I'm only recreating the system to open that door, it shouldn't take too long. You guys should wait by the door. I've got everything under control here. Alright, we're counting on you, Eric. So, do you think Eric will be able to pull it off? He's very skilled. I'd be surprised if he couldn't. You're right, Slooker. I should have more faith. That being the case, though, it wouldn't be so bad if we can go and get used to it. Why's that? The door is locked shut. Nothing can get in or out. It's essentially a prison. I see. If you look at it that way, I suppose it does make sense. Regardless, I wouldn't like it to get to that point. Agreed. I'd be, I would be, I'd be able to sleep better at nights if we were able to take care of this now. Eric, I didn't expect you to be done so quickly. Okay, so here's the deal: the computer doesn't open the door here. What? In fact, nothing out here can open the door. The only thing that can open the door is the being behind the door right now. How do we get whatever's inside the door to open it then? To be honest, I don't think we can. Why not? Seems like it only opens the door when its master appears. When its master appears? The one who created it? Yes, it's been specifically trained to open this door once its master is around. That really puts a dent in our plans then, no? Who could possibly be the master of this place? I would assume it's referring to the leader, Bladesar, correct? Correct, if only we had some sort of icon, logo, or symbol we can use. Perhaps we could trick it into thinking its master appeared. Hey, we already have something and I'm just being stupid. You feel like you're me. Present the Rose Badge, of course. Juan, what did you do? Why did you open the door? Flora is the leader of Blade Star. Makes sense to me. The badge doesn't lie. Blade Star has usually been a low-level threat, but if they're holding Rift Matter, eh, that's another matter entirely, right? Oh, we should keep an eye on Flora. Mission is to explore the Blade Star. Yada yada, can we just deal with this rift now? You're really dragging this out. Don't you remember what happened in the Alola region? You nearly died because of this pride you hold so dear. Won't let you suffer the same way you did back then. Never again. Look, her. no, you're right. They stop being like this. We'll enter the rooms together. As for Juan, I'm sure you'd like to join us as well. You've dealt with rift beings many times before, correct? Wow, we've actually got a lot of rips under our decks. Oh damn, for all four. Okay, uh, fire steel. Interesting. Uh, in its dormant state, it suspends itself in the air, waiting for its prey. It's quite agile and can stretch its vine to swiftly change positions. Stupids are similar to a yo-yo. So it has two different forms. 
Let's see, its stats are pretty mediocre across the board. Doesn't seem like it can do a lot of damage, but if it's like Age of Slash, that's going to be a problem. Reasonably speaking, uh, uh, Rose Raid would be our best bet. Is, is that the Rift Beam that our Raiders are picking up? Must say, it's much smaller than I anticipated. Considering the usual threat levels of these beings, I don't think we'll be able to just take, take it with us just like that. We're gonna have to weaken significantly. Juan, this is where you come in. Like Annabelle said before, you have the most experience fighting these things. We greatly appreciate it. Let's go. How many shields do you have? Oh no! Heat is intense. Probably going to kill us now. Uh. Soul Trip Ocean. The Destiny Bond won't work, so... I want to scout out its upper moves just to see. Yeah, its attack has risen significantly. There's nothing we can really do about it. Hmm. Yes! Oh, that was delicious damage! You can just slip one attack. Oh, that's right. Damn it, no one can even live one attack. Ah oh, man, I didn't want to use this for the wall. Please do not flinch. There. Haha, <laughs> get dunked. Uh, I think that'll be enough for now. Yeah, I can't really say this thing looks happy with us. Can you really blame the poor thing? It just entered its home uninvited and attacked it. Looking at it, I thought it was just some standard Rift Pokemon. However, I didn't expect it to change form midway through battle. You should grab it and call HQ. I'm sure they'll be interested in this. Great job, Juan. You did marvelously. Let's leave this place once and for all. We got what we came for. Great. Like a trench coat in this heat will be the death of me. Thanks to you two, we were able to safely apprehend this Rift Pokemon without any consequence. Ha, ah, jeez, I didn't really do anything. Couldn't even open the door myself. It's all thanks to Juan. You're the reason why everything went so smoothly. Indeed, Juan's efforts were a huge asset to our success. But as you know, our work here isn't done. There are other Rift Pokemon out there. We'll need your help to capture each one. But for now, it looks like this chapter is coming to a close. Eric, you're free to go. Your payment will be arriving to your destination soon. As for Juan, there's something we need to talk about back at our office. Take me with you, I don't want to fly back there. Ah, Juan, it's great to see you. You've been researching and conducting experiments on the Rift Pokemon. Okay. You've come to the conclusion that Code Drifio is an appropriate name for this one. You probably could already guess by just by looking at it, but its original form is the Rothborn. But it makes sense for Flora to choose a grass site for her <clears throat> experiments. But I'm curious to know why they changed type. We've learned so much, yet there are still so many, un so many questions left unanswered. But I believe that we're on the right track, and that's all that matters. Now it seems like you're done, and as promised, you'll receive a hefty reward for your services. Of course, since the job isn't completed, it's only a small portion of your entire pay, but it should be suitable. Additionally, thanks to the data taken from your rift decks, we are able to extract more information about each one. Correct. We have taken the info and developed an app to hold all of it on your CyberNav. However, if you don't have their entry into Dex, you won't be able to see their data until you do retrieve it. Okay, Rift Notes. Alright then. You must go for now, but we thank you for your, again for your help. Okay, so our rewards in the help center are done. What reward have they given me? Is that it? Oh, I also received a stamp. Okay, we have Rift Notes now. Ooh, let's see. While suspended in air with its vine-like appendages, it is quite fast. It moves with it. It moves its vine. It moves its vines to push and pull its body away from enemy attacks. When it's being attacked, it moves similarly to a yo-yo. It can pull off tricks as well. 
If it loses enough HP, it will let go of the wall around it and turn itself into a wheel. In this form, it becomes faster and reckless. It's unstoppable. Yeah, we kind of saw that. Okay, Rift Chandelure. Um, not much is known about it, this ominous being. Its body swings around like a merry-go-round, but the orb located in its center is completely stationary. When it moves, it creates a noise that is almost identical to wind chimes. That, that be, this being has somewhat of a playful but sad nature. Looks down at the ground occasionally and creates small and soft noises. Code Evo. Gyarados under the name of Code Evo is not actually a Gyarados at all, but a tiny school of Magikarp taken from the lake in Golden Leaf Forest. Let's see, it takes this form as it is not able to do so in its original lifetime. Despite its size, it is one of the weakest rift swarms in existence. It's a grand example of size not meaning everything. Damn. It's unknown where Godvanshul was from natively. Godvanshul are not very common in the Avium region. One thing we do know is that it is, was the mother of many Joltik. When it was forcibly transported into Amphis Cave, it was fueled with rage. It was killed before it could gather its children and take them to safety. Whether they survived or not is unknown. Stacia. Volcanion was found deep within the depths of Draconia's Den, in the Badlands by Team Zen's Matalus. Matalus was originally after its mother, but it fell in battle. She had no choice but to take its infant. Volcanion sat in anger as it trooned the insides of Keratos Mountain until the muddied and damp nature was no more, leaving it craggy and melted. What a prankster! Leaves off causing mayhem for the residents of Terajuma Island. It was specifically picked out by Angie to spread misery to all that opposed her beliefs. The potential she saw in this particular carnivine was great. When it failed, she was disappointed but oddly not surprised. It happily embraced its new form Zeta gave it. It doesn't care. After it protected Melia, it fought Zeta and Code Evil by itself. It's a close fight, but Zeta wouldn't have any of it. He was transformed into a wrist and cast into the ocean, where it swam alone for months. The only motivation to keep was its only motivation to keep on was to find out Melia survives Zeta's attack. It wanted to make things right after it attacked Melia in the sewers. Aww. Okay. Taken hold by an ancient Garufin curse, Alita became a beast like old other. Her newfound power and her ability, savagery, Alita became more powerful the more she knocked down. Brass is reflective of her stubborn nature. As her motivation fueled off desire looked away deep down inside. Regardless, she must be saved from herself or she will live in regret forever. Ain't corrupted data. Okay, because it's from the past. That was interesting, I can't lie. I'm glad we got to face another rift.